In this video, I am going to discuss the errors of GPS. Well, it is not a perfect system and there can be different types of errors while using GPS receiver. Broadly, they can be divided into two categories. First is introduced by US Department of Defense. So these are the deliberate errors such as a selective availability or simply known as SA. SA. So these errors were introduced by US Department of Defense to safeguard their national interests. And basically there is a degradation the positional accuracy for civilian users well from May 2001 let me just write here from May 2001 US government had said that selective availability will be switched off now there are other types of error we call it natural errors and that could be because of atmospheric effect because of multipath errors, receiver error, satellite errors, the geometry of satellites. Now let us discuss about atmospheric effect on GPS. So we know that the GPS signal travel from satellite to the receiver on board ship. So suppose we have the receiver here. So the signal travels like this and passes through the atmospheric layers. Well, we know this, that this ex, uh, atmospheric layers is, say this is troposphere. Let me just write it here, troposphere. And from this one to this one is collectively we'll say ionosphere. So the GPS satellite signal passes through these layers of atmosphere. So the extension of this uh, troposphere is say 0 to 40 nautical mile and that is from 40 to 400 nautical mile. We also know that GPS signal travels with the speed of light which is uh, 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second. The net effect of these atmospheric layers is that it will delay the signal. Just let me mark here. It will delay the signal. And this delay in signal will result in an apparent increase in an apparent increase in a pseudo range so that has caused uh, some errors well the magnitude of the error depends on the elevation of satellite and the time of day so if the satellite is here 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 it all depend on the elevation and the time of day well it is not possible to eliminate these errors completely and the GPS receiver has a built-in model of the atmosphere to calculate the average amount of delay and applies correction so users should use the GPS position with caution with caution when low elevation satellites are available when low elevation elevation satellites are available yeah that is the time that we should be very careful 
now let us discuss another type of error which is uh, multi path error well what happens when uh, we have these signals from satellite and they are reflected because of the ship's structure and that could be mast say for example reflection on the mast or funnels or aerials and this reflection from the structure causes some slight delay and this slight delay is responsible for some error in a pseudo range well the end result is that uh, that error of 15 to 20 meters 15 to 20 meters is experience in horizontal direction that means in the form of latitude and longitude and that's why this error is called multipath error well we should know that the whole concept of a GPS uh, relies that the GPS a signal flies straight from the satellite to the receiver however because of the structure uh, they get reflected the result uh, of the signals arriving at the receiver after the reflection uh, definitely is going to cause uh, some uh, delay so another type of error is the receiver error well it can be of two types one is because of the errors of the software errors of software collectively and because of another uh, techniques uh, how to convert the satellite information to display on the receiver the collectively we say as a receiver noise error receiver noise errors and the second type of error is inaccuracy uh, due to the receiver clock so receiver clock and we know the receiver is not fitted with atomic clock with atomic clock that is not fitted because it is pretty expensive so receiver is fitted with quartz clock and there could be some inaccuracies in this quartz clock so we may have uh, some incorrect data now let's discuss another type of error that is geometry and availability of a satellite so now let us discuss about uh, this error for geometry and availability of satellite so here for 2d fix we need at least three satellites and for 3d fix we need at least four satellites well, if the GPS receiver is not in the coverage area of the least number of required satellites, if we don't have this least number of required satellites, then there will be effect on the accuracy. And that accuracy can be limited one. As if, like, uh, if you are doing the terrestrial navigation and we just, uh, you are using uh, two bearings only. For example, here we need three satellites for a 2D fix. And now we have less than three so this will definitely affect uh, the accuracy the situation can arise when the ships are moving within a narrow passage so if you are in a narrow passage and and closed by high mountain so we are having say high mountains this side and the vessel is transiting in this area then there is a possibility that all the satellites are not visible and we should also know that the satellite signals are strong enough to pass through some small say plastic material but with the mountain it is very very difficult they cannot pass through the mountains well now let us discuss about the last error which is a satellite error satellite error well these are due to 
uh, errors in reported position of satellite you know the gps system contains more than 24 satellites transiting around the earth and they transmits uh, some data and if there is error in this data uh, well the monitoring station continuously needs to monitor the position and the time of satellite while the control station sends updated data so that the satellite errors can be eliminated so the control station and monitoring station let me just write here control station and uh, monitoring stations they continuously take care and eliminate this satellite error. Well, any identified error are transmitted in maritime safety information MSI. So we sometimes if uh, the satellite error is uh, uh, causing some concern, it can be seen in MSI.